forward it. Half past five. Been uh, camped up on the top of the Crimea Pass overnight. It's absolutely Baltic. So I'm going to get myself up now and put the uh, heating on. Get the van warm up a bit and then uh, get some breakfast. <laughs> Right then, it is 20 to 8, we've got the first signs of some light, so uh, let's get onto the hill. Right, our way up is up this incline. We used to use it for lowering slate down the mountain from the, the quarry at the top. But we're going to use it to get up fast, as long as it's not too icy. Making good progress. Being climbed was quite icy down the bottom, but as we're getting out the valley, it's uh, defrosted up here, so it's not too bad. Oh, wow. You can see the, uh, the tunnel now and the light at the end of the tunnel, which is marvellous. Right. Let's keep, keep on going. Right, we're uh, up to the tunnel. A bit bleak in there, but it's fine. There's a shelf in there somewhere. I've got to scramble up from what I remember. So uh, let's get cracking. Well, that was fun. A bit miffed about this fog. It's supposed to be in the valleys, not up here. But there's a hint of hint of blue looking up. So I'm hoping that the fog might be dropping, and I'll get above it later. Fingers crossed.
Well, we've taken a bit of a, a wrong turn here. I found myself high up on the hillside when I should be down on that path down there. Uh, but every time I come to a bit of a dead end, I can manage to find a way around and as long as I can keep heading this way, eventually I'll meet up with the path. So uh, it could be okay. Otherwise, I've got to turn around and go all the way back, which would be a bit of a depressing detour. So, hopefully, we'll be alright. Well, the fog is coming and going, and you know what, that's fine with me because it's absolutely gorgeous. The views open up and then disappear again and open up and disappear again. Each time they reappear, it's like magic. Absolutely fantastic. I think we're almost at the point where we turn. I move over to our first summer of the day, which will be exciting. And I feel like a, almost on top of the fog, we might get a proper inversion soon, which is very exciting. So let's keep going and see what we find. Well, there's our first top behind us, just clear of the clouds. Welcome to the top of Moli Hith, Bear Hill of the Stag, that translator. Just scary up here really, because everywhere I look is just fog, could be anywhere. But we need to drop down now and then uh, find some ways to have a, have a drink. It's quite cool up here, so uh, I'm not going to stop. I'll head down and pick out the breeze and then uh, have a cup of tea, I think. See you in a sec. So we're back down off our first top, uh, we've got a decision to make now uh, with a crossroads really, whether to go out to connect them back or whether just to do the mullins. Well, I decided to uh, to do connect. I've got all day, plenty of time, so why not? Anyway, it proved to be a lot more difficult than I expected. I'm about a third of the way there, and uh, navigation is a nightmare because of the fog. You can't get really any sort of bearing as to the direction you're heading in, and the path. It's really indistinct and there's many of them just come and go and 
so I'm constantly having to check my GPS to make sure I'm going in the right direction. The other one here, another fork. One goes that way. And one goes that way. No idea which one I'll lead, so I'll pump for one and then check my GPS in a minute and see if I'm going in the right direction. My word, that uh, trip from the quarry over to here, really tough, very tough ground, very hard to follow the path, very hard to navigate, uh, but we're over, now it's just straight run up Knicks, uh, and the fog's gone over here, so it's superb, so let's crack on, see you up there. Here we go, the top of Knicht, a little while since I've been here, wow, what a day, been a bit of a trek getting here really, actually climbing the mountain was the easy bit, it was getting through, I'll turn around and show you, I've come from the Malvins over there, and getting through that fog has been a real challenge, and I've got to do it again now, so uh, it's a bit breezy, I'm going to head back down, out the wind and then it's time for some lunch but wow beautiful isn't it Just making my way down off Knicht. And the sun's finally made an appearance. And if it'll uh, burn that fog off for us, we shall see. Over there is uh, Alt Fowler and Mole Drummond where we well camped maybe a few months back. Looks uh, stunning from over this side. There's a path you can see leads up there so it would be possible to walk to connect from that way, which might be a nice thing to do. As I sat and enjoyed the sunshine, the fog that had made my journey over to Connect so challenging evaporated before my eyes, revealing the rugged, undulating terrain I would have to cross on my way back to the Morwins.
my word. What a difference when there's, uh, there's no fog. Just shows to show I'm quite experienced in the mountains, but that fog got me confused as to where I was. And uh, if it wasn't for my GPS, I'd have been all over the shop. I'd end up on my old drumming or something. Anyway, and you can see the path is well, you can make it out, you can follow it into the distance, so even when it, it goes very uh, faint, you can still work out where it's going. But the key thing is, it's nowhere near where the map is marked on the OS map. The, uh, they're significantly different. So even though I was trying to follow, put myself directly on the path all the time, I was actually missing the path constantly because it was uh, it's in a slightly different place. Dear me. Anyway, let's crack on. Making good progress going back. Hopefully, uh, you're back at the quarry before you know it. And just a small matter of three more peaks to do. Should be okay. Well. I ended up ignoring the map altogether in the end and just following my nose. And as I've got quite a substantial nose, it led me straight back to the quarry without any, any drama. That's the fourth top of the day. Malwin Mara, North Ridge Top. Next one is Malwin Mara itself, which is closer than it looks. Uh, Malvin Mara done. Just uh, Malvin back left, but it's in the cloud, so uh, I'm not sure how much fun that's going to be. It's not a very big one. I think you should pop that clouds over there. So maybe, uh, maybe it'll be alright. I need to have my finger out because of light, so uh, no time to dilly dally. Let's go down the hill. Well, we're on our way down. I did have one more peak that I wanted to do. Uh, I'm all the way back, but it's uh, half past three. It was going to add another half hour to the walk, which means I've only started down this path at four o'clock, which is when the light starts to go. And uh, I've not done this path before, so. And it's foggy. So I didn't want to come down in the fog in the dark, that would have been bad, so. I decided to bail out of the last one, save that for another day, and uh, uh, once, once we're down to the, uh, the reservoir, it's pretty much plain sailing from there.
Well, we uh, started the day on an incline, so it's sort of fitting that we should finish the day on an incline. This one's grassy in places and a bit slippery. It's alright. Not a massive distance now to we're back with a van, probably half an hour or so. And uh, the getting below the cloud now and the light, there's going to be enough light to get me back, I think it's going to be fine. So I'll see you in a bit. My goodness, I love the incline. The whole descent pretty much has been on the inclines, which is fantastic. I suppose coming down them you'd call them a decline. Anyway, how are you doing? You survived this long, you're still with us. Not far to go now. Not far to go. You know, when I uh, read the plan out, I've been given a UNESCO World Heritage status. I thought it would have been nuts because this place got so much devastation of what man has done to a beautiful, beautiful scenery. But today, in the uh, misty conditions, I sort of get it. It was. Uh, the old mine workings and stuff just added a, a magic to the, the place uh, that it wouldn't have had otherwise. So, uh, just a wonderful uh, place to explore. Anyway, back at the road now, so we'll be back at the van in a second. 